The Southern Miss men's basketball team will kick off a two-game road trip Thursday in Charlotte without one of their top players. I'm Nicole Menner. Thanks for joining us tonight. Senior guard Dominic McGee is under an indefinite suspension. McGee missed out on the first three conference games with an injury, playing his first against Middle Tennessee on January 10th with limited time. Coach Sadler held McGee out of Saturday's win over UAB, describing that as a coach's decision, and they spoke again on Monday. Well, Monday night, the Mississippi State women taking down the Auburn Tigers on the road en route to their 16th win, now 4-0 in SEC play. The Dogs shot 53% from the floor and had a plus-19 rebounding advantage. Tierra McCowan had her 14th double-double of the season, 22 points and 10 boards. The ladies remain at number 7 in the AP's poll and will take on the number 15 South Carolina Thursday night at home. Well, slowly but surely, New Orleans Pelicans fans have watched on as their team slipped further and further down the Western Conference standings, losing some serious ground in the playoff race. But after winning three of their last four games, it was time to watch something the team hadn't done since December 12th, and that was defeat an opponent with a winning record. On Monday night, the Pels picked up one of their most impressive wins of the season when they defeated the LA Clippers 121-117. And per usual, New Orleans riding Anthony Davis and his 46.16 rebound double-double in the victory. Julius Randle helping a team that got a little help from the bench by netting 27 points to move the Pels within a pair of wins of the 500 mark and just two and a half games out of the final playoff spot in the West. I thought we did a good job. Uh... Obviously, I didn't think they were going to lay down and die, and you know I've never seen one of Doc's team ever do that anyway. So uh, uh, I thought we became a little less aggressive, you know, and, and that got us in some trouble. But I thought at the end we did a good job of uh, uh, of, of scoring, in, you know, when we really needed to, you know. Uh, and I thought defensively we were pretty good at the end, where uh, we allowed them to get off shots, but they were really tough, contested shots. So, And we rebounded the basketball, and then obviously uh, AD went to the line and made the free throws. And the New Orleans Saints have done what they needed to do in advance to Sunday's Final Four of the NFL season. They'll play the Los Angeles Rams and try to secure a berth in the Super Bowl against either the Patriots or the Chiefs. But before they start worrying about a Super Bowl matchup, the Saints have to get by a great Rams team. They're a good team, um, clearly. Um, you know, got a good defense, explosive offense, uh, great coach. So we're going to have to, you know, um, get our game plan together, you know, look at the tape, what we had success on, what we didn't have success on, and you know, try to prepare to have a good game. Well, here's something different. Nike has officially unveiled a basketball version of their power lacing sneaker called the Nike Adapt BB. Now, it's not the first self-lacing shoe, but it is the first designed for high-performance needs, such as that of a professional basketball player. The price tag, $350. For all of you sneaker heads, the design consists of a black fly-knit upper over an inner shell of mesh. I have no idea what that means, but you can see on the screen there. It tightens by way of a motor and can be adjusted manually by the touch of a button or through a smartphone app used to dial in different settings because you know what screams 2019 like adjusting the laces on your shoe with your smartphone. Wow. Yeah. I, have to admit, I thought that it would cost a little more. I thought so too. Well, there was um, a company came up with one before. Nike did this one for basketball players and their price tag was over $700. So somehow Nike was able to bring down the cost. Okay. We'll see how if they last. All right. Leave it to Nike. Just do it.